Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to achieve this super cool galaxy effect using acrylics, different pigments, glitters. So if this is something you're into, stay tuned, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, as always, comment below. Okay guys, so you're going to need several different colors for the um, galaxy design. So you're going to need some blues, some purples and magentas, and a yellow for the center. So these ones I've all custom made myself, but I've got a magenta, I've got more of a lavender purple, a primary blue. This is actually a navy, but it looks black in the camera. It's a very, very dark navy. I do then also have black, and then I've got a lighter blue and a yellow. So whether you have pre-mixed ones from a company or a product line, or you custom mix them yourself, you want something in this array of colors, you definitely wanna make sure you've got the black for sure. Then we are going to move into the pigments. Um, so I've got the Joann's um, unicorn one. Everybody knows I love the Joann's. I've got both of them here. And I've also got the um, Aurora one from Joann's. Then I've actually found in my drawer um, a bunch of pigments and I swatched them all yesterday. So I've got this one here and it's actually from Color Craze and it's a chameleon pigment. It's number six. It goes violet, blue, and green. So I like, and, and surprisingly, I actually did label the bottom of these jars. These are like one of the very few <laughs> when I was repotting that I did um, put the labels on them. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that was good. And then I've also got another one from the Color Craze, which is Chameleon Pigment number 16, and it's a golden red. And you can kind of see when I tilt the jars here that they kind of color shift a little bit from the blue. And then you can see this one's got that pink and gold. So those are the pigments. Now into the glitters. I have the stars from um, the pink chair. They're called AB Stars. Got these guys, and then I've got these little tiny holographic stars, which I do not know where I got these. I'm sure from eBay years ago. So I've got those, and then I've also got a very, very fine holographic um, glitter, or it's called a pigment. This was actually from the Elite brand a long time ago. I barely have any of it left, but you only use a very, very, very teensy bit um, in this design in the top coat and then you're also going to need a white acrylic and a good old clear acrylic obviously your monomer of choice i'm still using the vibrato brand um my acrylic brush of choice is still the joann's the big one i've got that guy and top coat of choice is still my young nails stain resistant and i think that's it so hang in there guys we're gonna get started so we're going to start off with this circular design. Um, this is the one that I showed on my Instagram and my Facebook, all my social medias yesterday. Um, so we are going to start with the middle being the lightest color and then work outwards. So basically you are going to start with the yellow and the white. And now you could do this design, um, I'm just doing it on a slight angle going like this but you could probably do it long ways I just think that this looks more realistic so what you're going to do is first open your monomer <laughs> which I haven't done yet and start um, I'm just gonna push this out of the way here because I need to have space for my hand so I'm going to dip into my white and then I'm going to dip into my yellow so I've got them both here, you can see from the brush, and I'm going to tap it down where the white is on top. And then I'm just going to create a sort of marble a little bit, just a slight bit. We just want a little bit of that yellow around the edge, but mainly white in the middle. 
And while the bead is wet, um, you wanna continue in grabbing colors. So I'm just going to dip into the lighter blue and the magenta. I may have grabbed a little too much there. So you just wanna grab little tiny bits at a time and just work with them fairly wet and you're going to be using that same kind of marbling technique that I've showed you in the past where you just drag the color and sort of blend them in. I'm gonna grab the darker medium blue and the um, lavender color and you're going to just continue around in that circle pattern adding color as you see fit so I'm going to add a little bit of magenta here just to kind of drag that through there I'm going to go back into the light blue and the lavender So the important thing is to work with it while it's still wet. Ideally, I would have liked for that bead in the middle to be a little wetter, so, um, or st have stayed wet, but of course, it's a little harder to do on video. So I'm just gonna take some of that white and that yellow and kind of blend it out into those wet colors, just so that they, they blend and you don't have like a solid kind of separation or a line to them, <clears throat> if that makes sense. And basically you just keep playing around, dipping in the colors and pulling them and going outward. So you wanna gradually bring this um, marbling out. Now we wanna bring it to about this far and then the rest is going to be black. And then you also want to take a little bit of that darker um, navy and sort of start bringing that in a little bit as well. Okay, so, so far I'm happy with that. So I'm going to now continue on by filling in the empty space with the black. So you just want to fill it in with straight black. You want it to be completely covered. And then we're gonna blend the, the two connection of the black and the, um, the darker navy here. Again, it's all about doing a little bit of marbling. You want the colors to kind of blend a little bit because you don't want just like, you know, lines or separation between the colors. You definitely want them to marble. So now because that's wet, I'm going to take a little bit of this purple, a little bit of that blue, and maybe even dip into the magenta and just kind of make it so that those, and then um, grab a little bit of the navy and just kind of blend those a little bit. So that's not a, such a distinct line. If you can see, it's kind of blended there a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing at the top. Now the other thing that I want to mention is you will want to start with a thin layer of clear under this nail design, obviously, because the colors are so dark for sure. And I mean, I generally do that anyways, um, just so that when you do a fill, it makes it a lot easier to remove just the color and not have to take all of the product down, you know, to the natural nail kind of thing. So just make sure you start with a clear layer. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in now again with a little bit of that pink, that light blue and that magenta and just kind of marble it or fade it, blend it a little bit in with that black, just so that it blends a little bit. And you have a little bit of a gradual Effect. So, so, so far, I think that that looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Now, if you wanted to, you know, you take a look at it, you wanted to add anything, you could add some more different colors here and there if that's what you wanted to do. But I'm going to go in with my pigments next. And that's when it, that's what makes this um, design really, really special. And it pops so much because of the pigment. 
So again, showing you the original design, um, I chose four pigments of different colors. So you can see this one here is a bit of a brighter magenta. This is more of a light pink. This one over here has blue and this one is green. So I wanted to have several different colors of the pigments. Um, again, I think that's what makes it look special. So what you're going to do is just take your monomer and dip on your brush, excuse me, and dip into clear. Now you just want a teensy, teensy little bit of clear. And then you're going to dip into your pigment. It's You do not need a lot at all. And then you're just going to sort of follow that same um, oval pattern and just go on one little area. And then you're going to pick up another exact same little tiny bead and go into a different pigment and do the same thing. And you're just going to sort of create um, like a spiral design. So already you can see how cool that looks. Now the next step is going to be adding the stars. So in the jar of the AB stars, there are three different sizes. I've just kind of tapped a few of them out here. So there's really teensy ones, then medium size, and then larger. So we don't need very many because we're only placing the stars on the black area. So what I do is I just grab a little tiny bit of acrylic. I just put a little bead down, little dollop of it, and then that's where I'm going to place my glitter. So I'm gonna put one of those there. And I'm going to grab another little bead. I'm going to place a medium one here. And we'll do a smaller one. Little tiny guy. Now we're also going to do the same thing with the um, holographic stars. Again, you don't, you only need a couple, so, you know, just grab a couple out of the jar, same thing, tap them in with a little tiny bit of acrylic. And that is it. So the next step is to simply cap with clear. Now again, as I've mentioned in other videos, when we're working on tips like this, it's okay to be a little bit, you know, on the sloppy side because we're not working on a client. So you'll oftentimes see if the, the, the bead, acrylic, bead of acrylic, excuse me, might be really wet and kind of dripping off the edge. Obviously on a tip, that's totally fine. You know, you don't risk coming in contact with anyone's skin that way. But when you're working on a client, please do not do that. We do not want to have anybody get in contact dermatitis. We do not want to be exp um, exposing or overexposing the client's skin to product. So when you see these videos out there where people are, you know, blobbing it on and it's all over the skin and they're constantly wiping the skin, wiping, wiping, don't do that. That is not proper practice. I cannot stress that enough. Now for the other um, design or the other pattern that we're doing is very similar to the regular marbling angled um, design. So, but again, we are going to start with um, the center being the white and the yellow. So I'm going to grab a bead of my white, dip it into my yellow. So I've got it there. I'm going to tap it in with the yellow on the bottom. And then we are going to drag it at an angle through the nail like we normally would if we were marbling like so. Now you want to make sure that the center is more of a white. So I'm going to add a little bit more of that white just to the middle to make sure that there's no shadows coming through from the tip underneath. And then again, we're just going to continue on dipping our brush in various colors and marbling, um, blending 
on the sides downwards. And we're going to work again towards going outward towards black. Now once we've got the colors on, again we're going to now move into the black area. Now I want to make sure I fill this area in really good with black. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there is a little bit of shadowing um, because it's not solid enough. So I'm just going to go in and make sure to make that. We want that very, very black. And obviously you want to work in very thin layers, especially if you are working on shorter nails. As I've mentioned in other videos, we do not want big, thick chiclet nails. So make sure you work very thin because you're capping in clear. Now because my black acrylic is still wet, um, I can go directly into my little stars here and um, just tap them right in that wet acrylic. So I'm just going to grab a couple of these guys, do one here, one here. And same with the little holographic ones. And then we're going to go in with the pigment. Now for the top coat, I've just poured some of my top coat out onto my tile and this is where you're going to take that fine um, holographic pigment and you do not need very much at all, literally a very, very teensy, teensy amount and you're just going to mix it in and this is what just gives it the last little tiny bit of an effect. It almost gives an effect of like a million little tiny stars in the sky. So. I'm going to move that just off to the side so that you guys can see how it looks when it goes on. The infamous top coat porn. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and this design as much as I did. I am absolutely obsessed with how these nails turned out. I love them. They might be my favorites thus far. So as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please put them below. I love hearing your guys' input. So stay tuned for the next video and have a great day.